I guess a lot of you guys have problems in the mid game of The Witcher finding the perfect build for level 30 or so and today I will help you out, stay tuned for that. What's up guys, my name is Frankie Boy, and on this channel you will find everything about open world RPGs like The Witcher, so stay tuned for that. And let's get into the game and look at my Geralt. So this Geralt is level 100, but it doesn't matter because I will just demonstrate how the build would work. You could potentially build. For this build you in fact need 37 points, so you gotta have that. But you can quickly get to that when you're uh, leveling up. You get one for each level up, of course. You also want to always get these points of power like the place of power in Velen and in White Orchard. They are quite easy to get. I will show you some so you can get your points really quick. So we got these in Velen. So here at the Dragon Slayer Grotto, the Ancient Oak, also the place of power at the Road to Bold Mountain and one at the Byways or Dunhen. One is up here in Novigrad and it's at the Elector Square so you can get that by going this way. I think you gotta go around here, go down here and um, just go around this or maybe here. I, I'm not quite sure, you gotta fix it out if you are lacking some skill points. We also got one in Lorne Rook. We have quite a few in White Orchard. So down here at the abandoned, uh, abandoned village, we got two. We got one more at the Kekla Bridge. We got one northern from the mill, another one northern from the mill, and one here at the sawmill and the mill in the middle of that. You can find some skill points over here, like six in White Orchard. In the Skellige Islands, you can also find some places of power at Harviken. Western from Swarlak, it's over here. Then you're here at the Bridge of Catrolde. Gotta stay careful over here. The place of power in the ancient crypt. I think it's in the ancient crypt actually. One at the crossroads over here. To the very east at Gadenath or something like this. One at the wild shore or Fornhalla. And maybe I missed some, but these actually should make the deal and get you enough points so you can build this build. What is the exact build and how does it work out? I hope I helped you out with all these places of power. I guess um, you might have missed some of these in this story. Actually, I think we should keep it in a certain order for you to choose uh, from. The first thing I always recommend is a technique of your taken armor. So if you're using heavy armor, you would pick up the bear school, medium griffin, light one, cat school. It's always for the most damage. Also in this skill tree, you want to use metabolic control to increase your toxicity. It's not 100% needed. This is skippable. Also, adrenaline burst is skippable too. I would recommend for for the sake of leveling to use gourmet maybe and switch it up for that because you need the HP all the way. We got that covered. We are just taking some basic combat skills that you need to actually progress and be flexible with. I would rather go with the light attacks. I prefer them, muscle memory, and then you take the resolve so you don't lose any adrenaline because adrenaline gives you up to 30% more damage when you have three of these points. Precise blow is always sweet because it gives you um, increased critical hit damage. We want that and I will explain to you why we need it. Also fleet footed is totally awesome because when you dodge you don't receive any damage and it just takes one point when you combine this with undying it's worthless because yeah you have to put put in three points and you shouldn't die because when you just fleet foot all the time and you dodge all the time you don't take any damage at all and this is totally awesome um yeah just keep it with this way what is the core of the build it's of course found in the alchemy tree hatent tolerance is what we pick also we're picking acquired tolerance so we increase our toxicity level we can even use these potions and decoctions all the way what we need is uh, to progress in this kind of skill tree and we are picking synergy next is it's increasing our attack power even further maybe you want to just I don't know, put in a mutagen that increases your life. You could do that with this build, I guess. Um, this was would also profit from that. But what is so awesome is in the last row of this alchemy skill tree, it's killing spree. Basically, you get 100% crit chance with every strike after you killed three foes. And this will happen quite often when you have a necker or some wolves, some bandits. It will happen, except for in boss fights. It might not happen there. But it's so nice to crit all the time. It's so awesome and you don't even need like 
this euphoria build for it to work and you can also increase this with hunter instinct hunter instinct was fixed before the next gen update it didn't work so you now have the increased 100 percent damage um crit damage and this is just perfect synony synergy with critting we crit all the time we have stronger crits with precise blows and we have like even some stronger crits with the cat's ghoul techniques um it's just awesome and this is a build i would say you can use it for like uh, level 35 or 30 and uh, use it for the hearts of stone dlc use it for the blood and wine dlc and you will get through it quite nice some people like to pick something up here the illusion is a classic many of you guys want it in the story just to have another dialogue option i don't use it because i use these dialogue options already and uh, don't need to do it again but for those of you who are new to the game you might want to use that all right let's put this build to a test and see if it actually works now with this build you want to use some decoctions and some potions you increase your toxicity level and you want to make use out of that the ones i'm always recommending are like a chimera it's so awesome damage delta force regenerates vitality i hope you have that you don't need it but it's very awesome also the water hack damage dealt when uh, at maximum vitality um, is increased by 50 percent then you could use like some potions or um yeah take another decoction in a classic is always the echidna because performing actions that consume stamina that will regenerate vitality vitality and then you could use like a thunder potion and maybe a uh, maribor or tawny or both of them and then you might want what you want to do is target these guys and uh, kill one of them always pre-fight use quen i forgot about that and uh, after killing the first ones your crit chance will actually rise and this is so awesome because yeah you can actually like one hit kill some guys when you don't have the auto leveling for the enemies on but as you can see i'm always critting right now and i have to be in fight for that to work um, i have to keep me in fight and uh this is crucial to keep, keep uh, the the 100 crit chance and remain the Geralt of Rivia I want to be. So I uh, kind of lost it now, but uh, it's not too bad. And um, fighting large group of enemies is still more rewarding when you crit all the time. It's so awesome. You just dodge and you don't get any damage of any hits. So you need to dodge, of course. Well, casting a sign is always, always uh, a danger. And uh, as you saw, talking all the time and not concentrating on the gameplay is also a danger. I'm sorry for that. But this is really working and is really working on death march you can do a large amount of damage and when you're concentrated you will even be better than i am of course and i hope i could help you guys out this is a build i would recommend for um, low level guys and uh, i, I uh, get the problem that most of you guys don't need the end game build because you will quit the game anyways after it so i figured out a level 30 gear, uh, guide would be perfect for you stay up to date on my channel if you want to uh, i will continue with some witcher guides and also some assassin's creed videos uh, hogwarts legacy videos you can expect that on my channel i'm a huge fan of assassin's creed and also got a role in assassin's creed valhalla so uh, stay tuned for that if you want to know more about uh, actually speaking and games and uh, getting roles like that stay tuned for more and see you in the next one goodbye